How you doing guys? I'm Sean. Welcome to Rambles with my camera. I'm not too sure if the microphone's picking up there. You might think I'm going to the toilet as I'm talking. Tell you it's not. Uh, Lynn's making me a cup of coffee. It's just poured it. <laughs> Thanks darling. Um, guys, listen, this video here today is going to be very quick. And I'm just going to bring to your attention. I'm not too sure if you've already read it or seen it. Uh, but it's by The Observer newspaper in seven decades of classic photography. And I think it's fantastic. And I've just been going through the photographs, the images there. And just and obviously you can read this yourself, but as the world's oldest newspaper celebrates its 225th birthday, we bring you a selection of its award-winning photojournalism from the 1950s to the present. And I think it's wonderful. And I'm going to put the links down below. Now listen, what I want you to do is, uh, when you're going through the photographs in your own time, uh, when you look at the link, it's easy to just have a quick glance at the photograph, like this one here. And then you would just shoot up and you would find out Florence, Italy, 1958. And Florentines watch a fashion shoot photographer Jane Brown from The Observer. And it's easy to do that. But what I want you to do is when you come across a photograph, is disregard, you know, the detail, the blurb about the photograph until you observe the, uh, the images. And just have a look around yourself. Because sometimes it's very easy that the, you know, the caption is going to create um, the story within your mind because you've read where it is. You'll read what it's about. And when you're looking at a photograph, sometimes it's easy not just to sit and look at all the details of it. And, you know, you're sitting automatically looking at the tripod legs here, the guy's legs here, the lady's legs here. Uh, the people going around, you're trying to work out yourself what is happening. Is it a celebrity? Looking at the pose, it's almost Vogue-like with the S. Then you're starting to visualise what the photographer's caption uh, via the lens. So you're you're looking through the lens now and trying to see the details. So you're seeing the side of her face here. And just trying to imagine what sort of pose is happening. You're starting to glance around. You're seeing the surroundings of the buildings. You clearly see by her dress sense, his and the people standing there, the car, uh, the wheel trims. And you're creating the story, you're observing, you're becoming an observer of the image. And that's what I want you to do when you're looking through these photographs. Just don't automatically look up. And it's going to take a wee bit, a wee bit of practice not to glance up. Um, but try it, see, and I guarantee you're going to appreciate the photographs more. And I think some cracker images. And, you know, this image here, that could be taken by you or me. You know, to me, there's nothing special in it. Um, and as I'm not even looking up at the caption, uh, there's enough photograph of the girl standing there. But to think, if you think about this, this has actually gone into the uh, the paper or the, the magazine, of course. They're known for the quality images. But to me, it's an, an ordinary photograph. There's nothing so special about it. Maybe the girl is. Now I'm looking up at the caption, Cinderella. At the Saddler's Well Royal Ballet. So that's the only reason why this photograph would be special and in the, the Observer newspaper. It's because it's, it's documenting the Royal Ballet. But it's an ordinary photograph. There's nothing special about it. Nice use of um, the shadows and things, but um, special. Scrolling on down, once again, you're not glancing over to the caption. I nicely thought, believe it or not, that that was over in Belfast because, like old photographs, I remember. Um, Obviously not not here, it looks like nineteen forties. But basically I, I remember the old streets and I remember the the old dolls, as I said, the old women would have been dressed like that, you know what I mean? And I certainly remember the old um wise hunt basin, the enameled wise hunt basin. So I, I initially thought that that was in Belfast and where's it's in Dundee, is it? Bronze medal at the Enterprise photo, Dundee, Scotland, nineteen fifty nine. So um just scan down them and have a look at each one of them. See what the photographer's saying. You judge from the, the images and you'll start to observe more. And I think that's what we are. We are observers, especially if we're in the photography. We're observing the world around us. Right away, I can remember that. Is it the Don McCullen photograph? Powerful, powerful image. And you look at that. I know the story behind that photograph because I've got this book, but... If you look at the image there, you, know, you can see the two lads up the top. They're observing the scene. The lady clearly has lost someone. The child could be the the lady's son 
looking for comfort from his mother or from the lady or also given um, comfort to the lady, to the mother. Behind there's another lady there crying. And you can see that everything is happening to the right of the uh, the image here. But we're reading the story in the eyes and the pain, the clenched hands of the lady. Um, reading over the thing, this photo of a turkey Cypriot woman who's just learnt of the death of her husband, killed in fighting during the Civil War, won the 1964 World Press photo of the year in the single image category. Don McCullum, the Observer, 1964. Powerful image. So guys, here you go. I'm going to put the links down below. Don't want to ruin the, the, the photographs for you. There is so many of them. Absolutely wonderful. And it's not all harrowing. Um, they're just powerful images. And it's just going to make you... Uh, it's going to make you... Sorry if I didn't take any dizzy spells at them at speed. So as I say, seven decades of classic photography from the Observer newspaper. Check it out. And um, leave your comments down below. Any particular photographs is jumping out at you. But use this here as an example. And when you're looking at a photograph, it is easy just to take the photograph in for a few seconds. And then you start looking who took it, what's the story about. A photograph should tell a story. May even tell many stories. And that's what this video here is about. Guys, listen, send you love from Ireland. Thanks again for watching. If you haven't already done so, please do subscribe. You can check me in on Twitter and on Facebook. All links down below to the social media. And uh, guys, thanks for watching.